There we go. All right, smallmouth guys. Yes. Just waiting for them to bring the canoe to me. And I uh, already got a smallmouth. It's supposed to be a best fishing day. It's already looking promising. Boy, he inhaled it too. It, he, didn't, he didn't just nip at it. It's way down there. He engorged that thing, guys. All right. Hey, it's a start. I'm really hoping to get on some big goggle eyes today, guys. A launch. I got on the water about 15 minutes before I thought I would so no complaining there it's 10 15 a.m. floating till 7 p.m. <sighs> oh I'm not used to this seat is really low to the ground my goodness <sighs> I got it somehow oh I got a goggle eye all right that didn't take long he had pulled it inside a rock guys he tried to get me hung. It's a small one, but it's exactly the species I'm after today. So that's a good sign. Little shadow bass. Little baby. That's cool though. That's exactly what I'm wanting. Hell yeah. It's on. It is on. I got something here guys all right a goggle eye it's not the size I'm looking for yet but it's a start that's two goggle eye aka shadow bass around here on this stream all right next time catching them There we go. Yes. It's a bluegill this time though, but it's not a bad one. Might be a hybrid actually. Uh, yes it is. It's a naturally occurring. No, it's a bluegill. Regular bluegill. Oh, it almost looks like it has a hint of green sunfish, but it don't. I got a very special tool I designed with me today guys it is an oversized like a battery clamp with a very powerful spring on it I tied about a 10 foot rope on it where I don't got to anchor so much I can just clamp on the branches or whatever and it does wonders I'm telling you very handy There we go. Goggle eye. Hey, I'm getting the desired species. That's all that matters. They get bigger down the river further away from this cold spring. Seems like only the small ones stay here.
Oh yeah, there we go. Fish on guys, small mouth most likely. Boy, I don't feel bad either this time. It's a nice fish. Oh yeah, he's a decent one. Oh yeah, real decent. There we go. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm. Oh, and the missile. That's my favorite lure in this place for some reason. It just outshines everything. Usually you would think crawfish would, but they don't. Oh, what a nice small mouth right there. Man, he's, he might be about 14. I'm gonna have to get him measured. He's a decent one. He is only 13. Yep, 13 even, guys. Nice small mouth, though. He's girthy for a 13 incher. Not bad at all. Just a little small mouth right there. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get him back in. It's a good sign. I always catch him in this cove, guys, every year. Whew. We got a new species for the day, a horny head chub. what she is it's a, a girl one because it ain't got the red dot little horny head <clears throat> little bitty horny head small about five inches be perfect walleye bait in the winter time boy Ooh. made that guys that was too dangerous this is a very very dangerous river especially by yourself I really should never come here by myself like this it is not only is it not for amateurs it's not for anybody to be alone I'd say out of all the rivers in the whole state of Missouri this is the worst one as far as very sharp, swift corners, 90 degree turns. It's not for everybody. I'm, boy, there'd be a fish right there too. I know there would be right down here from these rapids. Oh well. Right up there is where me and her got completely stuck on last year, so I gotta go to the right big time to make sure.
Alright, long ear. Four kinds. Little sunfish. Hey. It's a rough day, guys. It's not been easy. The water is still too high and still too murky. It looked alright where I first put in. But as I got further and further down, it got worse and worse. Alright, another horny head. Hey. Oh, cool male one too. Awesome. Look at them bumps, guys. Wow. That ain't a bad one at all. That's a nice fish. Cool. Alright, as the boat went by too. Nice little horny head. Male horny head with the bumps. Cool little fish. Slowly getting fish, just not the ones I'm really after. Big goggle eye. Alright, let's get him back in, I guess. after about a two hour dry spell that goggle eye fell off I was hoping that's what this was but I did get me a small mouth on the Lightman Chrome Flicker Shad little guy but I am so happy just to get something it's been that bad of a day that water dropping like that at a rapid pace it's not good never is it's been going down for a whole week but it's still not there it needs some stability for a few days, like I said. Pretty old smallmouth and male with real gray bottom. He's real dark. All right. Yes. All right, got something here, guys. Come on, goggle eye, please. Nah, I think it's a bass, but I'll take anything right now. Yes, it's a nice small mouth. Oh, yes, it is. All right, on the Bandit 200 metal flake. I lost my nice flicker shad, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Whoo. Well, I got to hurry up and get him off. And I got to clamp to a tree real quick, guys. So I can hold this spot. little clip thing here all right clip down there perfect a nice little small mouth another 13 inch not bad at all that really helped my day right there that one fish my goodness guys got him on the bandit metal flake 
200. Bad fish. It really helped getting that last small mouth. I can't even stop hardly anymore at all, unfortunately. Let's see if I can get another one, guys. 